The northern Italian region of Piedmont is referred to as Piemonte in Italian. Food and wine have helped to put Piedmont at the forefront of representing Italy's commercial power, as you will see shortly. But there are many other reasons why Piedmont plays a major part in Italy, being the country it is today. That's why this video will share with you 20 interesting and helpful facts about Piedmont in Italy. So how much of this part of Italy do you know and could it be a region you want to visit or live in after finding out some of its secrets? Before you find out, you might want to consider getting an ongoing collection of news, reports, resources and courses on various issues that will make your introduction to expat life in Italy and La Dolce Vita even sweeter. It's so easy. Just take a moment to subscribe, click the grey bell icon so you'll never miss out on future videos uploaded to this channel and then ask a question or leave a comment below in the comments section. Plus, watch this video to the very end where you'll gain access to a special report packed full of hot tips, ideal if you ever want to visit or live in Italy. So here are 20 interesting and helpful facts about Piedmont in Italy that provides an insight to both the known and the undiscovered parts of the region that won't disappoint you. 1. The name Piemonte means foot of the mountain, which helps explain its position in Italy being at the foot of the Alps bordering Switzerland and France. Two. The capital of Piedmont is Turin, or Torino, as it's referred to locally. Turin became the first capital city of Italy after the country was unified as the Kingdom of Italy in 1861 and until 1864, making Turin Italy's royal city. Today, Turin is the fourth largest city in the country and is home to two of the country's top Italian football teams, Torino and Juventus. However, Turin epitomises the industrial north of Italy and is best known for being a car manufacturing city with Fiat being at the centre of the automobile business sector. Lancia cars, before the Lancia company's demise in 2014, were also manufactured here. And who can ever forget the iconic car chase in the masterful film production of The Italian Job, starring Michael Caine and Raph Alone, where the famous rooftop racetrack of Fiat played a focal role in the film. Here are some more interesting facts about Turin. 3. It's the birthplace of the Italian film industry, which started in the early 1900s. Not surprisingly, locals refer to the city as Tollywood. 4. There are more cafes per inhabitants here than in anywhere else in Italy. 5. So, you may not be surprised to learn that Turin is also the chocolate centre of Italy, hosting a 10-day fair that straddles November and December. A chocoholic's paradise. 6. Another claim to fame for the city is that it's the birthplace of the aperitif, aperitivo in Italian, where a young man by the name of Gaspari Campari learned his trade in the mid-1800s. 7. Piedmont's population is over 4.5 million, with just under 1 million speaking a local dialect called Piemontese. 8. Piedmont is home to many lakes, the two most well-known being Lake Maggiore and Lake Orta. 9. The main international airport serving the Piedmont region is Turin Cassel. 10. If you're looking for confirmation that the Italian diet is one of the healthiest in the world, then you might be encouraged to learn that Emma Murano, born in Chibiasco near Lake Orta in 1899, died at the ripe old age of 117 in Verbania by Lake Maggiore in 2017. 11. Food and wine are central to the Italian lifestyle, La Dolce Vita, and Piedmont is ideal for socialising with friends and family. Here are some fascinating facts surrounding food and wine that Piedmont is home to. 12. Not a lot of people know this, but Piedmont produces over half of Italy's rice, with its paddy fields centred around Novara and Vercelli, the latter being regarded as the European capital of rice production. 13. 
Biella, a town at the foot of the Alps, is famous for its sheep producing luxury merino wool. 14. If you've not yet heard of the slave food movement, then to help you remember such an organisation, it started up in the town of Bra by Carlo Petrini. Yes, such a town does exist in the province of Cuneo in the southern part of the region. The organisation was set up in the late 1980s to counter the burgeoning increase of processed commercialised food by promoting organic farming within its own eco-region. Carlo Petrini started the movement after he led a protest on the Spanish steps in Rome against a proposed McDonald's fast food restaurant site. It's been rumoured that a bust is being commissioned by the local authorities in the town in recognition of Carlo being the founder of the movement, especially as it attracts thousands of people to the area to sample the food and the local wine. The movement is now recognised in over 150 countries around the world. 15. The city of Asti is home to the production of sparkling wine, with Asti Spumanti and Martini being internationally well known. September is a great time to visit this area, as it hosts three festivals known as the Festival of Festivals, celebrating 1. The gastronomical customs and traditions of local country living. 2. A week-long Do Your Door wine exhibition. And then the 3. Palio d'Asti, Italy's oldest bareback horse race. 16. Coffee is huge in Italy, so you won't be surprised to learn that Turin is also home to Lavazza, a famous coffee house founded by Luigi Lavazza in 1895. 17. Continuing with the theme of Turin, being the home of chocolate making in Italy, Ferrero Rocher established themselves in the town of Alba just after the Second World War in 1946 by Pietro Ferrero. The company owned other well-known brands such as Nutella, Monchurie and Kinder. Alba is also well known for its white truffles, which are found below the soil from September to January, with an annual fair held in Alba from October to November. Owing to the high value of the Tartuffi Bianchi, there's a high concentration of Michelin-starred restaurants in and around the town. 18. Carmagnola, south of Turin, is known for creating the biggest ever pepper soup in 2010, which entered the Guinness Book of Records for weighing over 2,600 pounds. There's a two week long festival in the town at the end of August or beginning of September that celebrates the peppers it grows in the region, which is reckoned to attract over 250,000 visitors each year. 19. If you want to burn off all of the calories from your culinary exploits around Piedmont, go and experience the Battle of the Oranges at the Ivrea Carnival held in February. Here, thousands of local people organise themselves into nine groups and throw oranges at one another, creating the largest food fight spectacle in Italy. The story behind this event goes back to medieval times when the town of Ivrea was run by an evil duke who forced his wicked intentions on a young, newlywed woman who subsequently chopped off his head, thereby starting a revolution. The oranges are imported from Sicily and represent the stones being thrown at the castle. 20. To wash down all that you can manage to eat in Piedmont, you are spoilt for red wines such as Barolo, Barbaresco and Barbera. The sparkling wine of Asti Spumanti has already been mentioned and the town of Asti also produces the white Moscato d'Asti wine. The white wine of Cortese or Gavi, as known by the locals, is also produced in the southeastern area of the region. So, there you have it. 20 interesting and helpful facts about Piedmont in Italy. With that in mind, don't forget to download your special guide entitled You Can Start a Brand New Life in Italy. Just click on the URL link in the description box below this video. Kindly leave a positive comment in the comment section below and then please share with friends. And enjoy.